So in this video, we're going to be learning how to modify Directus so that when we upload files to Directus, instead of uploading them to our database server, it's going to upload them to Amazon S3. This way we have unlimited file storage and we can also use Amazon CloudFront, which is Amazon's content delivery network, to make our photos load really quickly. So in our photos table, we still have one photo that was uploaded and it was uploaded by Francis. But if I was to click on this image and click on the eyeball, you can see this photo is being stored on our database server. It's the same server that's running Directus and our database. So inside of Amazon Web Services, what you want to do is you want to create a new bucket because you create a bucket and buckets are where you store your files. So click create bucket and we have to give our bucket a name. So I'm going to call it how code Directus, something like that. And because I already have a bucket with that name, it won't let me create it. So I'll just call it how code Directus one. I have to pick the region that I want it to be in, but I'm just going to leave it in Ireland. Click next, click next again and click next again. Now you just wanna click create bucket and you should be good to go. So here's my high code directus bucket and here's where we're gonna upload our files to. So before we can do that, we have to go to this GitHub page, fly system AWS S3 version three, scroll down and here we just wanna, we just wanna copy this command and we wanna paste it in here and just run that. So that should be it installed. I already had it installed, which is why you didn't see that. All we have to do is modify our Directus configuration file. So go to api slash configuration.php and open that up. And here you want to change your storage adapter from local to S3 because we're using Amazon S3. And here we want to put in our key, our secret key, our region version and our bucket name. So to do that, what you want to do is you want to go to Amazon's IAM, which is this here. And you can see I already have a test user, but I'm going to create a new one. I'll call it Directus. And I'm going to enable programmatic access. Click next. I want to attach a policy. And the policy I want to attach is Amazon S3 full access, which will allow us to store files and read files from Amazon S3 using Directus. So I click next and I click create user. So now I have my access key, so I'm going to copy that. And in our configuration file under key, I'm just going to paste that in. Then we have our secret key, so we want to copy that, paste that in there. For region, I created the bucket in Ireland. So the Amazon region is EU West 1. And you can see a full list of the regions here just by Googling AWS regions. You can see EU Ireland is EU West 1. For version, I'm going to leave that empty. Just use the default version. And for bucket, we put in our bucket name, which is how code Directus. So next, what we want to do is we want to set the folder we're going to upload it to. So that folder is going to be slash uploads. So it's going to go to our bucket. It's going to create a folder called uploads and we're going to store our files in there. And then for root URL and root thumb URL, we're going to put in the address of our bucket, but we're going to worry about that in a minute. So we're going to upload some files and then we're going to modify this configuration file with the address of our bucket. And when you modify your configuration file, Directus will log you out and I'm going to upload a new file. So I'm going to upload this image and I'm going to say it was uploaded by Francis and I'm just going to save that. So you can see that new image was uploaded and the reason we're not getting an image here is because we haven't modified our configuration file completely yet because you can see we still haven't modified the root URL and root thumb URL and we're going to do that now when we know the URL of our bucket. So now if I refresh, you can see the bucket has a folder called uploads that Direct has created and it has our photo we just uploaded. And if I click on that and I try to view it using the URL of our bucket, you can see we get access denied. So the reason for that is because by default, all our files in S3 are private. So to make them public, what we want to do is go to our bucket. We want to go to permissions and we want to create a bucket policy. And to create the policy, we want to click on policy generator, which will take us to here. We want to select S3 bucket policy. For principle, we put in a star. For actions, we want to say get object is the action. And our Amazon resource name is up here. This is the Amazon resource name we want to paste in. It's just the name of our bucket. Click add statement, click generate policy. Copy that and paste it in. And if you get an error, it's just because we have to put in a forward slash here and a star. Save that. And our bucket policy has now been set. So now all of the files in our bucket should be public. So if I click on this image one more time, click on its direct link, you can see our image loaded. But you can also see we got the URL of our bucket. So if I copy this, and I go to our configuration file and I paste it in here, go to slash uploads, do the same thing for root thumb URL, save that. So now because I modified the configuration file, Directus would have logged me out. You can see the photo we just uploaded and stored in Amazon S3 is now displayed, but our old photo isn't because that old photo wasn't uploaded to Amazon S3. So if I delete that photo and I re-upload it, you can see now we have our two photos. And if I was to click on one of these photos, Click the eyeball 
You can see that photo is being loaded from Amazon S3, so hopefully that explains how to use multiple storage adapters with Directus. But that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. But that's it for this video, and I'll see you next time.